Hello, welcome back. Uh, in my last uh, video, I mentioned that we will start with the Linux installation, but uh, before we go to the Linux installation, I would like to uh, briefly talk about uh, what exactly are we using Unix. Uh, <coughs> here, I'm going to read the sentence as it is. Unix is most widely used computer operating system in the world right now. Unix has been ported to run on wide range of computers from handheld personal digital assistants, which are PDAs, to inexpensive home computing systems to some of the world's largest supercomputers. Now this is a very important statement. Unix has become part of so many small devices, PDAs, uh, cell phones, uh, you, you name of it, all those small things, even in the... Uh, if you go to hospitals, all those small devices, real-time computing devices, they also use Unix or some variation of Unix. And the biggest computers, like the supercomputers, they are also using Unix. Just to give you a, uh, uh, the numbers idea, out of, uh, here I'm just going to write down this number over, out of around 500 supercomputers, 499 are based on some variation of Unix or some variation of Linux. Look at the numbers there. 499. It's not even 99%. It's much more than that. So this is the kind of spread that Unix is doing or has done already in our world and it has touched our lives. Just uh, think of PDAs, all the cell phones that we are having. Uh, I will give you an idea by going to the Google. Let us type... Uh, Android. Android is becoming the most popular operating system here and let's go at uh, Wikipedia and uh, see how Android is working. The very first line that it tells Android is a Linux based operating system. So all those people who are working on these uh, Android phones, Android cell phones, they are already using some flavor of Unix or some flavor of Linux there. And this is the spread and the depth of Unix. So just wanted to tell you, we are already using Unix without knowing that we are using it. So uh, please go through this article. It, it will tell you some, some basic things there. Uh, and what I wanted to kind of again bring to your attention is that there are many, many, many other variations. In fact, Mac OS is also a variation of Unix. Many people think uh, Mac came from Apple. That is absolutely correct. But their fundamental foundation was Unix. Then uh, Linux definitely is made, uh, you know, coming out of Unix. AIX uh, is based on uh, some flavor of Unix. Solaris. Ubuntu is a free open source operating system. FreeBSD is also an open source operating system. CentOS. Then I can keep on naming again and again Fedora. Red Hat Linux, OpenSUSE Linux, so many of them, they are based on Unix. One point again I would like to bring to your attention is that many people ask, uh, on which operating system are you working? And uh, the simple answer to that is Unix. But the next question you should ask that person, which flavor or which version of Unix? And then he should specifically tell uh, that, okay, I'm working on Solaris, I'm working on AIX, uh, it's like that. So uh, just uh, that, uh, you know, to give you an analogy, just saying that I drive a car is not enough. You should tell I which car I drive. So you can say I drive an Audi, I drive a uh, Toyota Corolla or a uh, Camry. What car do you drive? That is very important. So similarly, what operating system you work on is the version AIX, Solaris, all those are Unix flavors. And this is what the breadth and the depth of Unix is. And now we will jump into the Linux installation and all those things.